previously on the Dice Girls. Have you all ever heard of the mark of the betrayer? It's a sign that you have betrayed someone pretty grievously. It turns your pupils uh, the red and black bullseyes. Our idea is to give you three the mark of the betrayer and have you convince the tieflings that you've betrayed the gnomes so that maybe they will trust you enough to let you in. Magma, your eyes are, <laughs> are glorious. Rachna, oh my. Do I also have beautiful eyes? <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're like targets. Yes, they're wonderful. That's the mark of the betrayer. Do you, do our patchwork cloaks have hoods? Yes. I pull up my hood over my <laughs> eyes. And, uh, all right, is there anywhere else we need to go before we leave town? Uh, one more stop, please. Yeah? Uh, I need to go see Claire. Will Claire reveal the truth about Rachna's father? Will our team make it to Timbertide to infiltrate the tieflings? And how good is Trigus' spin kick? You're about to find out. With sugar and spice and a roll of the dice, you're listening to The Dice Girls. Rachna, Rachna rings her hands a little nervously. <laughs> um, Claire nods encouragingly at you. She's been kind of looking down, um, but when she asks her question, she looks up and she looks Claire in the eyes. Um, and she says, Is my father alive? Claire, um... She kind of smiles a little sadly at you, and she says, one can be alive in, in many ways. Is your father alive in your memories? Yes. Is he alive in the hearts of those he's made a difference to? Absolutely. Are his actions still having an impact on the world today? Yes. And in those ways, your father is very much alive. Rachna's face um, scrunches. She, she scowls a bit. And, uh, and she says, What is that supposed to mean? Is he dead? Where is he? What do you know? Her, her eyes get big, and uh, and there's, she's starting to well up with tears. She stands up, and she and she leans on the table. What do you know? Where can I find him? Is he buried somewhere? I can. What? Please tell me anything. Anything else? Claire begins to repeat her answer that she gave you previously. No! She's, Rock was definitely crying now. No! You, you can't! That's not... That's not an answer! Where is he? Where can I find him? She looks a little shaken. And... She says, My child... I knew you would be upset. There is much you do not know. There is much I do not know. I am giving you the help I have been allowed to give. Do you not think I wish I could do more? Her voice is starting to get a little louder, and her green eyes start to glimmer brightly. And the dim hut is suddenly filled with a burst of bright light as you see two brilliantly glowing wings sprout from her back. Do you not think there might be a bigger reason for all of this than you could currently comprehend? Rachna... She's not leaning on the table. She, she stands up. She's up. She's straight. She's got her hands up almost like... Well, almost like claws. And she's baring her teeth, and she's angry, and and she shakes, and then she realizes what she's doing, and 
Williams. And she, the tension falls a little. Um, she relaxes a little and, um, and she drops her hands and she stops burying her teeth. She stops scowling. The tears drop from her face just endlessly and she says, I'm sorry, Claire. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to deal with this information. I'm sorry. Claire's eyes slowly fade back to their normal, still pretty brilliant green color, and her wings disappear and it's dim in the hut again. And she looks at you and she says, if you believe that saving Avrin isn't going to be wildly frustrating and confusing at times, perhaps you weren't meant to save it after all. Please leave. I'm tired. And she stands up and walks out of the room into a different room of the hut. Uh, Rachna sobs a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she puts her face in her hands and she sobs really loudly and in frustration. And and then she kind of tries to straighten up. She's still crying. She straightens up and she says, we should go. Uh, and she kind of tries to like push through everyone to get out the front door. <laughs> Talon follows behind you pretty quickly. So, uh, you guys, you guys leave, leave Claire's hut and, um, uh, Talon had followed you out pretty closely, Rachna. He, he kind of puts a hand on your shoulder, but doesn't really say anything. Um, he, he's just kind of silently, just, you know, kind of letting you know, like. Yeah, uh, Rachna, uh, puts her hand on his hand and kind of sniffles and nods and. And she doesn't say anything, though. <laughs> and Trigus oh, no. hands Rachna a flower. Oh! <laughs> and he says, I'm sorry that your face was leaking. <laughs> That's my new go-to condolence phrase. <laughs> sorry your face was leaking. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> I think Rachna kind of... Um, she she definitely laughs. And she she but it's like a like a like a crappy sob laugh if that makes sense. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> and like has to wipe a little snot from her face recently and takes the flower and says, "Thank you." <laughs> or wait, thank you. <laughs> I feel like Mara just kind of gives you like a nod of solidarity. <laughs> Rockman on back. <laughs> How's Mara doing? She got a pretty interesting. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's cool. She got a pretty interesting message in there. Uh, she's not doing too great. She's kind of just like all jumbled up inside, and it's like I don't know what to do. Fair. Do these people look suspicious of me now? <laughs> uh, all right, Rockna um, wipes her face and wipes her eyes and 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 says, uh, "Sorry, sorry about that, guys." Uh, uh, thanks. I, uh, I had to ask. I, I don't know if we're coming back. I don't know what this mission is going to mean for us. I had to know. I had to ask. Uh, okay, so with the, uh, awkward silence that follows that. <laughs> Talon is also silent. He just kind of nods, like, at you, um, you know, recognizing that uh, that was rough. But um, he doesn't know what to say. Uh, it's it's cool, Rachna. Uh, she she straightens up a little and she takes the flower. I think she like tucks it into her shirt in like a nice spot <laughs> and to show it off. And she, she kind of brushes herself off and she goes, "All right, uh, we all ready to go, <laughs> dudes? I'm totally ready. <laughs> let's 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 do this. All I'm right, ready. all right." So uh, the four of you, uh, you 
you leave Narstad and uh, the guards kind of wave at you as they let you out the, the front gate. Remember, it's got that huge wall around it. Um, the guards... Uh, they kind of wave at you, uh, at first as you're, like, approaching. Ragna makes her sure her hood is up. Um, they, they let us in, and then, and now we're leaving with Marks and the Betrayer. <laughs> yeah, Mars is like, they weren't, they didn't feel great about letting us in. <laughs> Very true. And then we're leaving with these Marks. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, so, yeah. Mars yeah. is like, eyes on the ground, not looking at anything. Don't look at me. What's Trig is doing? I just say farewell, <laughs> Fa- farewell, guard people. They start to also wish you farewell, but then they notice your eyes and they just look really shocked um, at what they're seeing. They're not. They're. They look like they have no idea what happened to you. Um, uh, you guys would have been told by the resistance that not everybody knows what the mark of the betrayer is. It's it's kind of a rare thing. Um, it still looks pretty menacing and scary <laughs> though. So they they quickly usher you out of the city, uh, and you guys start uh, on the road to Nar not Narstad. <laughs> 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 you guys start down the road to Timbertide, and um, uh, Talon lets you know that it's a, a full day's journey. Um, and so you guys spend most of the day, uh, just walking along the road, uh, towards Timbertide and, uh, it's, it's fall time. So it's gotten a little, uh, it gets dark a little early. Um, and you guys are still about an hour, uh, uh, an hour or so outside of Timbertide. Um, when you, uh, hear a noise <laughs> from the side of the road, <laughs> Uh, Talon kind of stops you as you're walking. He's kind of been leading the, the way because he's been to Timbertide so many times over the past couple of months. Uh, and he looks around and from the bushes on the side of the road, uh, two, uh, two men jump out and they're holding mm-hmm. daggers. And they say, they, they jump out and they look at you guys and they, uh, one of them says, All right, give us what you got. We want your gold, we want your jewels, we want everything. Hand it over. And they kind of hold out their dagger. And we're going to, I think, roll for initiative. D20? Yes. Is rolling for initiative always? Oh, wait. Yes, yeah. 12. (laughs) Okay, I rolled real bad, so uh, I can't have, like, a reaction before the... before the combat starts. What do you got? I have 10 minus 2, 8. I have 12. What do you got, Ragna? Four. <laughs> uh, Talon. Okay, they rolled a 16. Talon got a four as well. Oh. <laughs> they get to go first, you guys. So they jump out of the bushes and they're like, give us all your money, and then they don't give us time to give them their money. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. They're real impatient. What is an ability check? Because it's jack of all trades that I have. Starting at second level, you can add half your proficiency bonus rounded down to any ability check you make that doesn't already include your proficiency bonus. So, like, an ability check is when I have you, like, roll for performance, roll for deception, roll for blah, blah, blah. If you don't already get to add that plus two proficiency bonus, Mm -hmm. then you get to add plus one because you're a jack of all trades. So you, like, know a little bit about everything. Okay. Okay. All right. I thought this was going to be wolves, by the way. <laughs> uh, no, these are uh, these are human uh, human bandit men. There's two of them, and uh, they they jump out and they uh, they they hold their dagger. Uh, they each have daggers, and uh, they tell you to give them their money. Uh, give them your money, all your jewels. We want all of it. And then, as their first turn, they are going to step much closer to you. They're not actually attacking yet. They're just stepping menacingly close. Not very smart. Mm-hmm. There's only two of them and they're yeah, attacking they four them. people. Yeah, that too. <laughs> not very smart. <laughs> they are not smart men. <laughs> and uh, that, was, that was their turn. They're gonna. They're not attacking their first turn. Mara, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to flash my new scary eyes at them and just say, back off now. I'm Ooh. Oh. Roll me an intimidation check. 
10 plus 2. Plus charisma? Uh, which one is intimidation? Oh, is that... Uh, yeah, charisma. Yeah, so... 4 plus 10, 16. Holy bananas. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty scary looking. <laughs> Uh, they actually both, they each take a, a couple of steps back, but they're still brandishing their daggers at you. They still want, they still want your money. That was a good, <laughs> that was a good, good turn. And now it is Trigus's turn. Um, and he says, you have not even performed and you're asking us for money. <laughs> they kind of <laughs> look at each other in confusion. Yeah, dude, you're getting robbed. <laughs> Give us your money. <laughs> they hold out their daggers. So I yell, fish sticks, and do a spin kick and try to kick the dagger out of his hand. <laughs> fish sticks. I am in love with this. <laughs> um, holy bananas. <laughs> okay, we're going to make you do an acro- athletics. A spin kick? What would a spin... That might be acrobatics. Acrobatics, because I have plus two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to count this as an attack. Let me look up unarmed, because uh, you're using your leg. Um, <laughs> so it's completely unarmed. <laughs> Literally unarmed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We're using your acrobatics check to determine if it hits or not. And then... We'll determine your damage based on the unarmed strike. Um, so, so, so you spin kick. Yes. Roll me an acrobatics check. D20. That's a d20. Okay. And then you add acrobatics. Yeah, add that plus, what is that? It's dexterity. So that plus that. Okay. I'm afraid. Five. Plus four. Oh my. Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> nine. Um... So, we're going to say you kick him. You didn't kick the dagger out of his hand, um, but you did kick him. Um, that's what that's what we're going to do for that roll. Um, so, he's still holding on to his dagger. He, uh, what's your, what's your strength modifier? Plus one. Plus one. Okay, so he's going to take two damage. Oh, um, yeah. It? Yeah. I got back. He's going <laughs> to... I love that Trigus yells a word of a thing that probably doesn't exist yet, and if it did, would also be like a terrible thing to his people. (laughs) Do do Tritons like eat fish? I mean, I mean, I guess they have to eat something. Yeah, Yeah, that's fair. Like suck rocks. (laughs) (laughs) You suck rocks. I mean, to get me out, like. (laughs) Nutrition from it. I mean, like... Maybe they eat crabs? Humans are also mammals. That's true, and we eat mammals. mammals. That's true. Yeah, Yeah, that's fair. Drinking. Demons. And debauchery. Better known as the Wheel or Woe Podcast. New verses every Thursday. Hey Dicelings, it's Becca, your Dice Girls DM, here for another solo. I just want to say a quick shout out to Wheel or Woe, whose promo you just heard. Please go check them out. They are playtesting Pathfinder 2nd Edition, and it's just a fun, fun podcast. They're called Wheel or Woe. Go give them a listen. I want to say thank you to everyone who's been using the hashtag the Dice Girls on Twitter. Your guys' mentions of us and your support is literally what keeps us going. It's so important, and we are so grateful to everyone who's been tweeting about the show. Speaking of Twitter, we are so close to a thousand followers that it's crazy. We can't believe it. Holy bananas. Thank you to everyone who's following us on Twitter. We are planning something fun to say thank you when we do hit a thousand Twitter followers. If you're not yet following us on Twitter, you can find us at the Dice Girls. Um, we're also on Instagram and Facebook at that username as well. 
And finally, there is still time to ask us questions for our Q&A session for January. Um, because we had to move our recording session, we are accepting questions all the way up until Wednesday morning. So that's the 15th of January. And then that Q&A is coming out on Saturday the 19th on our Patreon page for everyone. So we will be posting a link to that on our social media as well. Thank you again for everything. Thank you so much for listening. You guys continue to be absolutely awesome awesome and it is so humbling to us every single day thank you so much but now it's time to get back to the show i'll see you next week so trigus kicks one of the bandits and uh you kick him right in the stomach and he kind of like Oof, a little bit, but uh, he takes two damage. He's still holding his knife. And now it is Rachna's turn. Uh, okay, Rachna. Rachna pulls down her hood, and she snarls. And she all she's doing is she's just... Uh, what's a good word for it? She's stomping towards the other bandit, the one that, tri- one that Trigus did not kick. Um, and... Uh, and she's baring her teeth, and what she goes to do is uh, to grab the hand that has the dagger and punch him with her other hand. (laughs) Okay, all right. So we've got a couple of things going on here. We've got clearly intimidation going on here. Is that too much? Um, She's not in a good mood right now. No, (laughs) she's clearly not. She's just, like, not even amused by these dudes. No, yeah. Let's, they're pretty, I'm going to say they, I'm going to just say they automatically are intimidated by you. Like, you're big and scary and your eyes are real freaky. <laughs> they don't know what's going on there. Um, uh, We're going to have you do a strength check to grab his hand to see. Uh. <laughs> okay, Chris. Uh, dang it, my rolls are bad. Uh. <laughs> That's a six plus my strength modifier? Mm-hmm. Three. So nine. So a nine. Um, all right. So you you grabbed his hand. We're going to save your punch for your next go because okay. we, we moved and we grabbed. Okay. So. Or would you, do you want to retcon that you didn't grab his? So, yeah, so on I... your turn, you have an action and a movement. Oh, okay. So uh, in that case, then she would just, uh, she would just pull down her hood snarl stomp right up to him and not even not even acknowledge that he's holding a weapon and just punch him in the face okay okay we can yeah okay so we're yeah that's what happened we're saying we're retconning that um so yes on a punch roll me a um a strength check i know you just did one but we're a better one we're yeah roll me a strength check (laughs) that's a worse one doll (laughs) the first one <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do I have a thing? I don't think I have a thing. <laughs> I don't have a thing. That's okay. Um Does my fist count as a melee weapon? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> um um a full disclosure, neither of those rolls would have landed okay, a punch. Okay. Um, I don't know if that makes you feel better or worse, but uh, Rachna misses. Uh, she misses her punch. Maybe she's a little still uh, uh, overwhelmed. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. What's, yeah. She, cool. she, maybe the dude is just like, ooh. Right? <laughs> he just like real Leans quickly. back and she just like doesn't even skin his nose. Yes. She real quickly gets out of the way. Or he real quickly gets out of the way. Uh, Talon is up next, and he's pulling out a long sword. And kind of, you know, he's also... Uh, he's a dragonborn, and so he's also pretty aggressively, like, uh, some of the scales on the back of his neck are, like, standing up, and, and he's, he's getting a little big. And he's approaching them with a long sword, and he's actually going to swing it at one of the bandits. He's going to swing it at the same bandit that Trigus... Uh, Trigus fish stick. The, yeah, Trigus, <laughs> Trigus fish stick kicked a bandit. <laughs> and Talon is going to swing for that same guy. And Talon rolled a nat 20. Whoa! Oh! Good Talon. Wow. Okay. Uh, so 
Uh, Talon swings his long sword. And Talon uh, kind of... Talon swings his long sword. Uh, he actually kind of like does a stabbing motion, and uh, and Talon stabs this guy, uh, and he crumples to the ground. Yes, Woo. Uh, he dies, and the other bandit, seeing that his friend has now been vanquished, and that you guys are are uh, have scary eyeballs and a and a. <laughs> Big orc and a, a big half orc and a dragon, and yeah, he turns and runs real fast. Wait, I have tunnel fighter. I want to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I have a reaction to his to his turning to leave. Do it. <laughs> Do I roll? <laughs> How, what are you hitting him with? What are you swinging with? Fist. <laughs> Other fist. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Roll d20. I don't want to cleave the guy. I just want to knock him senses. Better. Ten. Plus uh, strength. Plus three. You hit him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tell me what your hit... Where does your where does your hit land? Um, well, it's as he's turning to, mm -hmm. like, try and remember, right? Yeah. So, uh, I think she kind of gets a... It's, like, in the in the chest. Okay. She's not aiming for his head anymore. She's just she kicked. She punched him in the chest. Yeah. And what's your strength modifier? Three. So you hit him for four damage. Uh, nice. He, yeah. He kind of like he kind of like stumbles and 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 falls a little bit as he's turning to run. Uh, he yelps as you as you punch him in the chest, uh, and the wind is kind of knocked out of him a little bit. Uh, but he he pretty quickly gets up and and continues. Uh, running down the road as as Talon cleans off his sword. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. <laughs> um, all right, yeah. So Talon uh cleans off his sword, and uh, there is a dead guy in the middle of the road in front of y'all. Can you see what he has on him? Yes, you can. I want to see what he has on him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, Mara, uh, you go over to to check out what this guy has. He's got a couple of pouches. Um, in one of the pouches, you find 60 gold. <gasps> oh, <laughs> <hell yeah. laughs> uh, he's also got two daggers on him. Um, and then he also has, um, a couple pieces of jewelry that he pretty clearly stole from someone else. There is like a sapphire necklace and then there's two silver rings. Sweet. Do you take all of it? I'll take all of it. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. While she's looting that dead body, Rachna's kind of, uh, she's, she's definitely like, tense and like was bristling and she's calming down and she decides to uh to stop and drop her head for a second and and kind of calm and meditate a little bit um she feels bad she feels bad that she hit a guy while he was trying to get away um that's not what rational rockno would do <laughs> he did try to kill you guys and rob you true um, but, but yes, I get it. Not yeah. to invalidate. She's a paladin. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, Talon, Talon sees you stop to meditate for a second and, and it's a, like a light bulb goes off and he's like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And, and <laughs> he, he also stops and takes a moment to meditate that's as well. adorable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you write down everything that you got? The 60 gold, two daggers, yeah. uh, a sapphire necklace and two silver rings. Then Trigus takes his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Trigus takes his shoes. He, Trigus, you now have some boots. They fit. <laughs> of course they do. Were you, you, Were you shoeless shoes before? before? No, no shoes. Oh, <laughs> no. Trigus has boots now. I dig it. I dig it. I have boots now. I have like uh, waraches. Okay. Before. Okay, and now you have boots. Yeah, now I have boots. All right, I like it. Turkus has some lovely boots, you guys. Yeah, I was wearing Birkenstocks, and now I've got <laughs> boots. This is a step up. It is a step uh, up. Literally. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> that hurt. Oh my goodness, you guys. All right. Um. Yeah. So. You continue on your way, uh, to Timber Tide, and the rest of the. Uh, the rest of the journey is uneventful. Um, it is dark. Uh, when you get there, it's late, and you guys have all had a pretty long day. Um, Talon leads you to a small pub in Timbertide where he offers to buy uh, two rooms for the night, and he kind of, like, apologizes. No offense, guys. I kind of like my space. 
Uh, so he's, he's, uh, he pays for two rooms for the night and it's the end of the day. So you guys are, are kind of, uh, at this small pub in Timbertide. Um, Timbertide is a much bigger city than Narstad. Um, but, uh, Talon kind of lets you know, you're going to be sticking mostly to the waterside district. He says, uh, that's where, that's where my contact, that's where my, my bud Guile lives. And, uh, it's where most of the tiefling activity has been going on. So that's where we're going to be sticking to. And uh, that's where the pub is, uh, the Waterside District of Timbertide. Um, and you guys uh, kind of are in for the night. Mm-hmm.